I think it's time we blow this scene. Get everybody in the stuff together. Okay, three, two, one, let's jam. On today's episode of Woman Interaction, Director of the Rising Name of Shield Hero, episode 13, The Devil of the Shield. First of all, we get a new intro and outro. I am loving it. I mean, with most animes, I tend to go towards, you know, the OG, the first one that always hits home for me, but this one's not bad. And eventually it'll probably fucking grow on me, but I absolutely love the animation, the dynamics. We get to see some new characters. It feels good. But let's get down to the nitty gritty. This episode blew my fucking mind just out of the fucking water. I did not expect that it would be this badass of an episode. I really did not. So coming off the last one, there was an assassination attempt or lack thereof, I would say. Basically, it was all a ploy to get a recording of Nafumi and his group fighting some mages, wizards, whatever you fucking call them in this world, altered the recording and just filled it with blood and guts and evil fucking expressions on their faces and saying, you know, they actually abducted Melty. So we know for a fact that this is all mine's, you know, plan. So this is mine, but we don't know if the king is into it. And that's what kind of like Melty is saying to Nafumi, like you don't know him. Him, blah, blah. But he's done some pretty fucked up things. But was it at the behest of mine? I, I just, I don't fucking know. All we know for a fact is mine is fucking sadistic. So when they're trying to get to this new kingdom, uh, was Siltvelt trying to take the back ways and over mountains and shit? Unfortunately, they get spotted. And what we see is an interaction between the two groups that was fucking ridiculous. All the legendary heroes are there. Modiyasu is being a fucking creep as shit. Throws a magical anklet onto Philo to stop her from transforming and proceeds to like hug slash groper like this was fucking creepy as shit luckily he gets fucking one punch man right in the fucking chest oh geez. so fucking creepy but then we have mine going fucking psycho saying you know what they're just brainwashed the the shield hero has the power to brainwash people just by talking to him like well he's talked to you and he's talked to ren he's talking to suki Moriyasu, yet you're not brainwashed like I, I don't fucking know but then proceeds like you'd say hey we can't even fix the brainwashing look we gotta kill her we gotta kill melty and just proceeds to attack her and Nafumi. At this point, Raftalia gets a fucking good hit with that new mana sword. Seems to have drained all of Mine's power, which was good because, like I said, she was being fucking sadistic. But all the meanwhile, Ren and Itsuki are just fucking like bystanders. They're, I don't know what the rationale is. Dude, you, you've met Nafumi several fucking times. You know Mine has cheated. You, you know fuck this kingdom has treated him like shit. Yet it always seems you just go with the fucking word like of the king or the fucking princess. Like, I don't, I don't understand your rationale. You're just fucking standing there. So after everything is said and done, Nafumi goes rage shield. Philo is back to the group. They all fucking escape. Right before they do, though, he throws that little pendant from the Church of Three Heroes to Ren's feet saying, hey, I have faith in you that you're going to fucking find out what's going on. Out of all three heroes, obviously, he would be the best choice. Moriyasu is completely incompetent. Atsuki seems to have a grudge against Nafumi. But even so, it's like, I don't know, Ren, I think honestly think Ren is the best choice. That being said, is this putting a target? on his back if he decides to go against this kingdom. I don't fucking know. And the episode ends with the fucking Kanoichi showing up and saying, hey, uh, you gotta go visit the queen, which is in the opposite fucking direction. She'll explain fucking everything. And then we get a, a, little, a little sweet moment between uh, Melty and Nafumi demanding he stopped calling her the second princess and call me Melty, call me my name. But I don't know. I wasn't expecting this episode to be that a badass. I honestly thought it was gonna be the start of an adventure. Like, fuck that. But that cliffhanger for last episode of the assassination plot, like, wow. Wow, this just fucking, ugh, so good. With that being said, I cannot wait for future episodes. Hey,